Hello, my name is Michelle Brown. I'm the physician assistant in the employee health office at Memorial Medical Center. In this video, Drs. Kazami, Gispert, and Ashcraft will be providing you with important information and statistics regarding influenza, and I'll be answering some common questions about the mandatory flu vaccine policy. Influenza is a serious disease that is associated with high rates of morbidity and mortality. In the United States, 5 to 15 percent of the population is affected by the virus each year. There are approximately 24,000 people that die from the flu each year. The most efficient way to prevent annual influenza epidemics and their associated morbidity and mortality is through pre-exposure vaccination. Immunization of healthcare personnel is vital to decrease influenza transmission to and from high-risk persons. Despite the recommendations from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, voluntary immunization programs have failed to increase immunization participation rates to a level that is required to reduce healthcare-acquired influenza. Institutions that have implemented a mandatory policy have dramatically reduced employee absenteeism as well as healthcare-associated influenza, thereby improving patient safety and reducing healthcare costs. As a profession dedicated to the prevention of infection, we have an ethical responsibility to protect those individuals entrusted in our care. The flu virus can be transmitted to patients by both symptomatic and asymptomatic healthcare providers. So even if you are someone who never gets the flu, you can still be spreading the virus to others, including our most vulnerable elderly and immunocompromised patients who do not respond as well to immunity through vaccination. The influenza vaccine is safe. The most common side effect is soreness, redness, or swelling at the site of injection. These are temporary reactions and occur in less than 20% of recipients. Severe reactions are extremely uncommon and should not deter anyone from getting vaccinated. Is vaccination required for all Kahnemaw Health System employees? Annual vaccination against the flu is now a condition of employment at Kahnemaw Health System. This policy applies to all people who provide care, treatment, or services in the organization, including those receiving pay, for example, permanent, temporary, part-time personnel, as well as medical staff employees, contract employees, volunteers, vendors, and health profession students. This policy extends beyond our employees who work in clinical environments to those who work in non-clinical environments, such as off-campus offices. The policy further protects our patients and team members and allows us to extend a broader safety net around our community. The flu can impact anyone, regardless of their work location. I don't work with patients all day, every day, so why should I get vaccinated? The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or the CDC, recommends the vaccine for all persons over age six months, especially healthcare workers. You might be exposed to the flu virus, even though you are not directly involved in patient care. And then you could give the flu to others, including your family members. I'm very healthy and never get the flu. Why should I get the influenza vaccine? Working in a healthcare environment increases your risk of getting the flu. You may become infected and experience only mild symptoms. You may not even think that you have the flu, but you can still pass the flu to patients, colleagues, and members of your family. I'm very familiar with the symptoms of the flu and I stay home when I'm sick. So there's very little chance that I would infect my coworkers or the patients. So why should I get the flu vaccine? The signs and symptoms of the flu may not appear for a day or two after you get the flu, during which time you could unknowingly infect patients and coworkers. Is it true that you can get the flu from the flu vaccine? No, you cannot get the flu from the flu vaccine. The flu viruses in the vaccine are killed, so they cannot cause the flu. Will the flu vaccine make me feel ill? After you get the vaccine, you can have soreness, redness, or swelling where the shot was given, and a low-grade fever and aches. If these problems occur, they should begin soon after the shot and usually last one to two days. Almost all people who receive the flu vaccine have no serious problems from it. I am pregnant. Should I get the flu vaccine? During pregnancy, the maternal immune system is weakened. So if you get the flu, the complications can be serious. When you get the flu vaccine during pregnancy, you are killing two birds with one stone. 
the antibodies will help protect the mother from the flu and the same antibodies will cross the placenta and help protect the baby in the neonatal period. The CDC and the American College of Obstetrician and Gynecologists recommend that all pregnant women during the flu season should get the flu vaccine. It can be given in the first, second, or third trimester. I'm allergic to eggs and I've been told not to get a flu shot. Are there any other options? There is a flu vaccine called Flublox, which does not use the influenza virus or eggs in its production. Flublox does not contain any preservatives, antibiotics, egg proteins, or latex. The Employee Health Office can order you this vaccine if you have an allergy to eggs. A form will be available in August to be completed by your family doctor, letting us know that we need to order you the flu box vaccine. I've had a severe allergic reaction to the influenza vaccine in the past. I got hives and short of breath when I got it the last time. What should I do? This is a medical exemption from getting the flu vaccine, and you will need to file for a medical exemption by September 1st. Another example of receiving a medical exemption is having a history of Guillain-Barre syndrome within six weeks of receiving a flu vaccine in the past. Forms will be available in August on our SharePoint site, on an intranet link, and at our offices to have your family doctor complete the form. This will be reviewed by our Influenza Exemption Evaluation Team. If you have a legitimate documentation, you will be granted an exemption from the flu vaccine requirement. What if someone's religion does not allow them to receive the vaccine? Can they receive an exemption? Yes. Just as we have a medical exemption form, we will have one available for religious exemptions as well. This also needs to be completed by September 1st to be reviewed by the Influenza Exemption Evaluation Team. When do I need to be vaccinated? When the flu season is about to begin, you should get your flu vaccine as soon as possible. It takes about two weeks to develop protection after receiving the shot. The vaccines will be available for all Conema personnel around October 1st. You must get vaccinated by the middle of November. There will be many opportunities throughout the healthcare system to get your vaccine quickly and easily for free. If you get your vaccine from somewhere else, you just need to show us proof that you received the vaccine. Those employees and volunteers not vaccinated by December 1st will not be permitted to work. If I get the seasonal flu vaccine in the fall, will I still be protected if the flu season continues into March or April? Yes, protection from the particular strains included in the vaccine will last the length of the flu season and sometimes longer. I will be out during vaccination time. What should I do? You will need to get your flu vaccine before you come back to work. New employees and volunteers will be required to receive the flu vaccine prior to starting. The flu vaccine will be available until March 1st for those new hires as well as current employees returning from leave. Getting the flu vaccine is the right thing to do. For every 15 healthcare providers who get vaccinated, one fewer person in the community will contract an influenza-like illness. Mandatory healthcare worker vaccination as a condition of employment is becoming the norm rather than the exception. Many hospitals across the state have already mandated flu vaccines. Universal influenza vaccination is the single most important measure to prevent transmission of influenza, and it is an important indicator of a hospital's commitment to patient safety. We want you, your family and friends to be healthy and safe too. If you have any questions or concerns regarding this policy, please contact the Employee Health Office at 534-1043. On behalf of the Conimal Health System, thank you for watching this video presentation.